guys, it's Katie Rose here from The Wild Gicellis, and so many of you guys have been asking me about my makeup routine recently. If you follow me on Insta Stories, you probably know I've been taking a lot of time and effort trying to get my skin to get back on track, feel beautiful in my 30s, and just not feel like I'm constantly getting more and more fine lines and wrinkles. I do everything I'm supposed to do from the inside out, but it's more the topical stuff that I really need to be worrying about. So I'm going to walk you guys through my skincare routine next week on the YouTube channel. But this week, I just wanted to answer your guys' questions on my quick makeup routine that I do every day with the kids. And it's super easy, actually easy enough that I most of the time do it in the car. But I just wanted to walk you through it. Now, before I start, I want to say one thing. I do not buy a ton of makeup whatsoever, but what I do buy, I invest in. So what you'll probably pull out from this is that a lot of the products that I do have are more on the expensive side, but I only buy them, you know, once every six to eight months and they last for that entire time, if not for the full year. So I do spend money on the products that I have instead of buying so much, and I only buy a little bit. So before I start my makeup every morning, my new routine is to wash my face with my, I think it's about five step program that I've been doing, which again, I will fill you guys in on. Stay tuned for that vlog, it's coming soon. But once that's been done, I've got a good moisturizer on my face. I actually end up starting with foundation instead of concealer because I take a lot of pride in my skin and I don't actually have a lot of blemishes. So concealer is mostly just for under my eyes and I actually find for me, it sticks better to my face if I put it on after my foundation. Another thing you'll see is that I do everything with my fingers because I'm a busy mom and brushes, you know, you can't find them, kids wanna eat them, they constantly be, need to be cleaned, so I'd rather just start with my hands washed and use that. So when I'm doing something around the house, I know I'm not gonna be leaving and I do wanna have a little bit of makeup on, I use the Beauty Counter Dew Skin. My sister actually sells Beauty Counter, so she turned me on to this stuff. This is really also great in the summer if you're just wanting something super light on when you're going to the beach. It's almost like a tinted moisturizer as opposed to an actual foundation. So I use this on my like day-to-day -day in the house. When I'm going out, I actually use the IT Cosmetics CC Cream Illuminator, and this is full coverage. What I like to do when I'm just running in the city, I'm not going to an event, I don't have a meeting, or you know, you just don't wanna have that cakey feeling to your face, is I mix the two together. So I do it at the back of my hand, I put a little bit of a half pump of the Dew Skin by Beauty Counter, and then the same amount from the IT Cosmetics. And I find that they just mix really well together. I don't know if you can see that. They just mix really well together. So I kind of just dot it on my face. And then I rub it in with my fingers. Like I said, guys, I am like so much about not stressing about my makeup. Okay, foundation is done. So for questions, I'm number two with the Dew Skin and I'm light in the IT Cosmetics. So now that I've done my foundation, I'm gonna do a little bit of under eye concealing because I'm pregnant, so that means I'm not sleeping very well. And I'm also a mom of two, which means I'm probably not sleeping well. I'm not gonna even try to pronounce this because I'll probably butcher it, but I'm going to show it on your screen now and then I'm gonna link it below for you guys. I was lucky enough that I was actually gifted this in a PR package, so I didn't actually realize how much it cost. It is quite expensive. It's probably one of the more expensive makeup that I own. I have had this, it's the shade Ivory. I've had this for seven months. I use it almost every single day and I still have a pretty good amount left in it. So I am actually probably gonna buy this again. I would highly recommend it, especially if you're ladies who find that your concealer runs out at the end of the day, like it's rubbing off or you have that black um, from your mascara rubbing out. I find this works really well for that. And it's super creamy texture. I love it. So I just put it under my eyes, that's pretty much it. I know I'm probably one of the luckier ones, but 
I really do try to take care of my skin so that I don't have to have any blemishes to cover up. So the next thing that I use is the Airbrush Flawless Finish by uh, Charlotte Tilbury. She is probably one of my favorite makeup artists um, for product wise and they are more expensive products but like I say they last a really long time. I've had this compact for at least eight months and it's still going. It's bare but it's still going. <laughs> um, this is in the fair color and I actually I don't like to put powder all over my face because I don't like that mattifying look and I also feel like it actually cakes into my fine lines and wrinkles. So I literally just use this to finish off where I've put my concealer so the concealer doesn't move throughout the day. And again, I use my fingers for everything. Next step, and we're almost done, by the way. <laughs> this is how quick my makeup routine is. So this is the Filmstar Bronze and Glow from Charlotte Tilbury as well. Um, this is in Fair to Medium Skin Palette. As you can see, I've used it a lot. I've had this since last summer and I literally use it almost every single day. So when I say that I don't have, use a lot of makeup but I invest in it and it lasts, I'm really telling you the truth. So I use the Face Sculptor as a bronzer and I literally just put it on kind of in that like three shape you're supposed to do under my chin so that it doesn't look like I have a third chin. And then I also rub it in with my fingers sometimes as well. And I also like to use the highlighter. Um, the one thing about the highlighter though is my IT Cosmetics is actually an illumination one. So it's really highlighting anyway. So I don't necessarily need to use the highlighter all the time, but I do like to put the highlighter in the corners of my eyes in the bowl of my mouth and then the sculpting color I actually use as my eyeshadow because then you can keep this teeny tiny little bag full of makeup in your purse and get the kids to school and then when you get to go where you're going it takes you two seconds to do your makeup in the parking lot the last two things, you guys know I had microblading done a couple years ago. I actually haven't had it updated, which you need to really do every like one and a half to three years. And it's starting to get a little red. So I don't like to color my eyebrows in fully, but I like to use like the boy brow type of look. I don't get my brows shaped, it's all natural. And I don't tweeze either. I've been using the Maybelline Brow Drama and it's in the color Soft Brown. And I literally just kind of like brush it onto my brows. Like that. Next thing is mascara. Now I have lash extensions. It's my one little thing that I do for myself every month without a doubt. And so I actually, the lash extensions are by a company called Babe and they make their own specific lash extension mascara. So I don't do it all the time because lash extensions are pretty dark anyways. But on the days that I need it or that I'm going out and I wanna look a little bit more flirtatious, I put some of the mascara on. And it's super easy to wash off too, which works well. So the last final thing is lips. Now I use three different types of lip balm religiously, depending on what I'm doing. If I'm going to an event or I know I'm gonna be eating, I actually really enjoy the Maybelline Superstay 24 Hour Color. And this is in the color Absolute Taupe, it's number 230. It lasts a really long time and it comes with your own lip balm so that you can keep it moisturized and it's really just like a really nice color. I color match it to my Revlon lip balm that I wear all the time. I think I've been wearing this color for two to three years. It's called Seduction. So many of you guys absolutely love this and every time I wear it on here, you guys comment. So this is more of my day to day if I'm going out and about and I know that I'm not gonna be eating a ton of food. And when I'm just in the house, I go for the Fresh Beauty Sugar Bomb in Petal. So for this, I'm gonna go with my favorite, the Revlon in Seduction. And I just quickly apply it and what's really nice about this is it does still stay for a while and it dries into a matte. I don't love a shiny lip. 
And there you have it. My makeup is done. Without talking to you guys, it probably would take maybe two minutes, but I wanted to walk you guys through it. I wanted to show you guys each product. It's not very hard to do. You just need to invest in the right products. And if you invest in the right products, I find your skin is a lot healthier and happier as well. And for me, who has sensitive skin, investing in the right products actually work a lot better for me because I end up having less reactions in the long run. So I hope you like this video. As you know, I am not a makeup blogger whatsoever. I'm just a busy mom. So <laughs> definitely leave a comment below on what your favorite products are because I would love to hear more about them, what your most expensive product is that you could not live without. And also make sure you hit that like button on this video to show your support for our channel as well as hit subscribe so that you don't miss out on any other videos that are coming up. Thank you so much for tuning in. We'll see you next time.